friends i'm on a long walk away from home and uh this is this this filter lights up my face the most for you guys because it's pretty dark out here so oh look benevolent light <laughs> um i will be posting up a youtube video tomorrow that i hope that you go and watch and i'll probably drop in and do a story too about um how narcissists in your life that you're trying to get away from We'll use the holidays to hoover you back in and eventually have you under their control, tormenting you, traumatizing you uh, in a matter of time. You know, the whole, hey, long time no talk, I got you something, I got you a gift, um, <laughs> turns into them hopping in your bed with you. She goes, can I bring you a plate of food? I made those sweet potatoes you always loved, that pie. Oh yeah, maybe you can come over. He goes, yeah, yeah, I know. I know at the end of summer I was like cheating on you and everything and I was with that other guy and, and you know, in his bed with him and telling you you ain't shit. Um, but you know, these holidays, holidays are so lonely, you know. It's been this COVID, it's so cold out here. And you know, my family lives in Vermont and you always were the best. Uh, you always had the best Christmas spirit. And they haven't called you in three fucking months. They've ignored your texts, right? And you're, you're left like, what the fuck? Bitch, you just cheated on me. You cheated on me. Go call him. Go call fucking Kevin. Go call him. Yeah, and you got me a gift? You got me a gift? Really? Probably re-gifted it. It's probably wrapped in a Walmart cellophane bag. Oh no, Christmas spirit. You know, you have the most Christmas spirit. Remember that tantrum you threw last year on Christmas when you didn't get the gift you wanted that you didn't tell me that you wanted? You just made me have to figure it the fuck out? And then you opened it, and much to my surprise, much to my dismay and my dread, you threw it at my head. This wasn't the bottle I wanted. No, do they really do that? Your mama has her over for dinner, and they're, they're like, oh, Christine, you're so beautiful. Wow, we're, you make him so happy. We're so happy for you guys. We got you a gift, Christine, too, because you are part of the family. I look at you like a daughter. You. <laughs> and, uh, anybody, like, get this right here? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, I love it. <laughs> Christine's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> But she really hates it. And then all the way home, all the way on the drive home, you think everything is fine. And she just slowly says, makes a comment. She makes the comment. She sends the missile. She says, like, I don't think she likes me. You know, why did she get me that kind of candle? She doesn't even know me. She doesn't know what kind of candle I like. Who does she think she is trying to guess? And everybody knows. And everybody knows, Connor. Everybody knows that secret treasures candles are from Walmart. So she's just trying to humiliate me and show me what I'm worth. She doesn't like me. She doesn't like you with me. I'll tell you that. She doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't think I'm good enough for you. And all of this is projection about how, uh, what's her name? Christine feels. Christine doesn't feel good enough for you. She doesn't feel good enough for anybody or anything. And this, this little demon inside of her that she will be facing for the rest of her life. Uh, and she will do everything in her power. If you get her a gift that, that, I mean, if you really nail it, if she's a narc, if you really nail it and you knock it out of the park and you get her some gorgeous, thoughtful stuff, she's going to punish you for that too in indirect ways for the next three months. And then she's going to leave you. She's going to leave you for Kevin. She's going to go fuck Kevin.